Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Fallout 4 in 2024. A lot of bug with the new next-gen patch. So we're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a, a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU. So I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for Nvidia. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So right energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now for the game. So first of all, I want to mention right now, I'm running the game at 120 FPS without any issue. My first recommendation, I know a lot of people right now have a lot of issue. They're like at 48, 60, 72, a lot of different uh, issue. My first recommendation is test the game without borderless and window mode. Make sure that you're playing full screen. It seems to be a good thing for me. Uh, also, you can definitely use your application, your NVIDIA or Radeon. Maybe deactivate, force the deactivation of VSync or force the activation of VSync. Uh, it will probably help you. I saw that it helps a little bit some people. In my game also, before, a lot of people were just uh, deactivating the present interval at zero. Doesn't seem to work with the new uh, next-gen patch and all those modes also that you can use uh, that, for example, uh, for uh, performance for God Rays or IFPS with the animation. Anything, <laughs> all those modes doesn't seem to work. Everything is kind of like breaking right now on Fallout 4. So yeah, definitely. Another thing that I maybe think that can be an issue, the game right now seems to force VSync at 60 or 120 Hz. I know a lot of uh, eye refresh rate on the market. Sometimes they have like 60 Hz and 144 Hz, but they don't necessarily have a 120 Hz version in the monitor. I saw a lot of people having that issue with the PS5 and Xbox because they didn't know like why the 120 Hz mode didn't work. It was the issue. In my case, I have a 240 Hz monitor and I have a proper dedicated like 120 Hz on the monitor. So it's working well. I see a lot of people having... Uh, 48 fps and i feel like right now for some reason they just divide by 3d 144 hertz and that's why you're luck at 48 i see a lot of people having issue with radiant video card also so maybe like lock your fps force your v sync do stuff like that it will probably help you if you have some kind of issue like this just comment in the youtube section i want to have like more information about different setup so tell me your monitor tell me your uh, card what kind of issue that you're having, what parameter that you're using, and I will try to help you. Uh, so now for the uh, parameter inside of the game, make sure that you're playing native. Don't lower your resolution to have more FPS. The game will look very blurry. anti using, I recommend FXAA. You will have a nice 40% boost over there. TAA is very blurry in this game, so I don't recommend it. And it's tropic filtering in the majority of the people you can run 16 uh, x so simple if you have something like a very old computer from eight ten years ago definitely do some eight or maybe four sample it can help after that we're gonna go to advanced texture quality you can definitely run this at ultra if you have more than four gig of vram if you're playing with the new irs uh, texture definitely ultra can be six gig of vram so just make sure that you have uh, a, a nice amount of VRAM when you're running this one. Shadow quality and shadow distance, I'd recommend to go with medium. You will have a decent image quality with your shadow and you will have a nice 12% boost in your FPS. So this one is pretty huge. 
The cold quantity, I recommend to go with medium, a nice 4% boost over there. Lighting quality, not a huge difference between medium and high, so I recommend to go with high. At ultra, you're going to lose 3% of your FPS, so stay at high. God rays, I recommend to go with low, it will stabilize a lot your FPS. And uh, I know you can download a mode that will optimize your uh, God rays performance, but right now, mode are pretty fucked, so <laughs> I don't recommend them. Depth of field, go with standard. Ambient Occlusion, I recommend to go with I, so SSAO Basic. Don't deactivate it. You will see that uh, the game looks very flat without it. So my recommendation is stay at I. Weapon Debris, rec I recommend to just go with off and make sure that you're using the best performance. And for those options over there, I recommend to just go with screen space reflection and wetness. And with uh, motion blur will not provide you FPS, but I don't like the uh, this effect in any game, honestly. But remove the lens flare and the rain occlusion and you can expect a nice 5% boost in your FPS. The last one is view distance. My recommendation is stay at the middle like this and use medium, medium over there, the distance object detail and object detail fade. Look at your FPS and after that, adapt. Object and grass will uh, tank your FPS. So maybe do something like that if you're struggling with your FPS and do something like low. Normally, you should be fine, but it, you know it's some slider. So it really depends on the computer that you want to use, uh, what amount of FPS PS that you need. So just adapt those like this. Actor and item are not that bad. You will not save a lot of FPS with them. It's more about grass and object fade. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my follow-up for guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me like your rig, your GPUs, parameter, all the things that you're currently using. Maybe you should try also the, a fresh install. It can help. And that's about it, guys. Peace.